Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so you've probably heard me say quite a few times now that we are finally going on holiday. Um, and I have actually had quite a few requests to vlog our holiday and we won't be vlogging the holiday purely because I have not had a break from work for such a long time now and I really really just need a holiday where I can sit and do nothing and just relax so I'm really sorry but we won't be vlogging it Hopefully we'll have so many more trips in the future that we will be vlogging. Um, but I thought what I would do instead is kind of like a little mini holiday series to give you guys some like packing tips, um, give you some insight into what I'm going to be like taking on holiday, different things like that. Hence why I am doing this holiday essentials video for you guys. One thing I will be doing though is if you don't already follow me on Instagram, um, go head over to my Instagram at Louise Henry UK because I will be documenting some stuff on Instagram. Well, I'll obviously be like Instagramming the whole time I'm out there, but I know that there's certain things that you guys are maybe a bit dubious about when it comes to traveling with the whole COVID situation. So things like airport, what's changed, that kind of stuff, I'm gonna try and document as much as I can on there so that if any of you guys are still feeling really nervous about traveling and you wanna know what's changed and what it's gonna be like if you do go on holiday, then yeah, go check out my Instagram because I'm gonna try my very best to document as much as possible to hopefully put your minds at ease. But anyway, I have all of my kind of stuff set out here, bit of a varied batch. I'm gonna start off with a couple of pre-holiday essentials because let's face it when we go on holiday girls there's a lot of kind of stuff that needs to go on to prep yourself before we even step onto that plane so first things first i'm going to talk you through this so you guys may have seen that i actually filmed my kind of honest opinion and the kind of application process of this and it's the diablo lash lift kit we all know it is so expensive to have lash extensions lash lifts all of that jazz and this is a little kit that you could just do the lash lift kit at home so i am a massive fan of lash extensions but to be honest there's just so much upkeep like you have to just go back every three weeks and have them done i don't have the time to do that and also it's a lot of money to spend on lashes as well it really really adds up don't get me wrong i love them but sometimes it's nice to have a kind of backup. And since I did this kit, I think it's been about a month now. I have to double check. My, I haven't worn, oh, the sun is like really intense today. Um, so since I did this kit, I haven't worn false eyelashes once because I feel like now that my lashes are lifted, having mascara on them is just like enough for me. And that is, that's saying a lot for someone who is like an eyelash addict. Um, so yeah, if you've got kind of like quite straight eyelashes and you just want a little bit more of a lift, but they still look natural, definitely check these guys out because I was really pleasantly surprised with the results I got. Next up, let's talk nails. I'm not gonna show you my nails too closely because I need to redo them. I'm waiting until like just before I go on holiday basically. But I used to wear stick on nails and I don't know what it is at the moment. Like my nails just seem to reject them. They just like fall off within a couple of days. So I have reverted to gel nails and I am absolutely loving it. I've been like experimenting with it loads all through lockdown and I feel like I'm getting to the point where I know what really works for me now. Um, so I have one of these. This is a UV sun lamp. I just got it on. I've actually had this for quite a while and I got it on Amazon, super affordable. So I just decided to invest in my own kit and start doing it myself. It does take a little bit of time and finesse to get it right, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. So I just have a little UV sun lamp and then my favorite products that I have. So my base and my top coat are from Laguna Moon. I just got these on Amazon. They were really well reviewed. So I just tried them out really happy with those And also the top coat is a no wipe top coat, which is important to get the best brand that I've tried so far is actually this brand It's called my gel by Miley. I want to try a few more 
ones to kind of like test loads of them out but so far that's the best one that I've tried so I have two kind of like must-have products so first one my nails are so so thin they break really easily and this has been a life changer for me this is a hard gel this is by a brand called blue sky i wouldn't really recommend blue sky as a brand i've had some of their other gel nail varnishes and they're not the best but i know lots of other brands do hard gels and all of this stuff i just got on amazon shock because i literally do all of my shopping on amazon but basically you put this on after your base coat you can do as many coats as you want i normally do two to three and it will harden your nails so much this has let me grow my nails longer than they've ever been naturally so definitely a must have and then the other one is this little guy so one of the most annoying things about gel nails is taking them off and that in itself can cause quite a lot of damage to your nails so what this is is a really really easy remover all you have to do is buff off the kind of like top coat top layer of your gel nail varnish you paint this on, you just leave it a little bit and it kind of like dissolves all of the gel nail polish off and it is far safer and leaves your nails in a much better condition doing it this way than anything I've ever tried. Right, one last prep item. I don't know if this is a weird one or not, but I invested on one of these. So this is the Census Waxing Kit. Um, I epilate my legs and anyone who epilates know that it can be extremely painful so i wanted to invest in a waxing kit i've tried all the v strips they're such a waste of money um so this was like my last ditch attempt and i'm really really happy with the quality of this so you basically get a kind of wax heating pot like this you just plug it in you get three bags of these kind of wax beads you pour the wax beads into the pot let them all melt and then they also provide you with all of these kind of like waxing sticks and this is a a kit that you don't need the strips so you just literally um kind of put the hot wax on let it dry for a couple of seconds and then you just pull the wax off so it's really really quick and easy um i've had really really good results with this and they also give you this as well which is a post waxing spray with vitamin e um but yeah if anyone wants to try out doing a bit of home waxing anything like that i definitely recommend rather than wasting your money on just really cheap strips or anything like that just get one of these bad boys because they are infinitely better right i've got a couple of kind of beauty cosmetic -y bits here to show you guys as well so first up i always take a sheet mask with me if i go on a long haul flight normally what i do is i actually put a um sheet mask on during the flight because i kind of find like traveling and stuff it just really really dries out your skin we're not going on a long haul flight and obviously now you have to wear masks on the flight as well so it's not really possible to do a mask on the flight right now anyway i just don't think it'd work out so i'm going to take this with me on holiday and use it on holiday because you're exposing yourself to a lot more sun than we used to and things like chlorine your skin's going to dry out a lot more so it's always good to just have one of these and obviously if there is the day where you've caught the sun or you've got too much good to kind of like put some moisture back in your skin while we're talking about moisture i mean taking a moisturizer is a must-have this is actually one that I got in one of my glossy boxes. Um, and by the way, loads of this stuff is from my glossy boxes. And if you guys haven't tried glossy box, I would definitely recommend because I have found so many cool new products I wouldn't have found without them. And I do actually have a discount code for you guys as well. So I'll leave that on the screen down in the description box below if you do want to go try them out. But this was one of my little finds and I've saved this to take on holiday because I just think it's going to be an absolute game changer it is a moisturizer it's called the sanctuary spa wet skin moisture miracle and what you do is you jump in the shower shower as usual get out of the shower and before you even dry you put this on like you would a normal body lotion but it locks in that extra moisture and then you can kind of dry off afterwards so again it's so important when you're just like in the sun a lot more 
or like swimming chlorine chlorine like really really dries my skin out so always important to kind of make sure your skin is nice and moisturized another thing i get asked about a lot is chub rub so let's talk about chub rub um it's one of those things like so many people get it um and i feel like a lot of people are kind of embarrassed or ashamed or feel like they shouldn't get it don't even literally so many people get it and it's so so normal um normally what i do is if i'm wearing dresses i tend to wear i have um some anti-chafe shorts i just got them from marks and spencers so i'll leave them in the um description down but i'm gonna link loads of this stuff anyway but I'll leave them in the description box um, and they are very very good because they're really thin lightweight even in like hot countries you can still wear them and not overheating them they're not like thick Spanx material they're just like nice kind of thin lightweight shorts to stop your thighs rubbing together but sometimes outfit wise it's not always ideal so this is my other backup this is something called curve balm and what it is is well, it's a balm, in case you haven't guessed, but it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a really thick kind of oily balm. It smells so good as well, but it doesn't sink into your skin like a moisturiser. I remember, like, when I was young, I used to try and put loads of different creams and stuff on my legs to stop them rubbing and stop, get, like, the chafing, and the thing is that most things just sink into your skin. It kind of creates more of a barrier on top of your skin to prevent the chafing this is perfect especially for like hotter countries or you know if you're wearing an outfit where you can't get away with wearing the shorts or you don't want to this is this is your go-to hair products like i've said so many times already sun chlorine salt water wrecks your hair especially if you're someone like me and you have bleach in your hair that is not what you want so with my hair i try to wash it as little as possible i know that sounds really horrible but the more you wash your hair the more you strip it of its natural oils and the drier it gets um i honestly have found that since i've been washing my hair less my hair has benefited from it so much i've been doing it for years now so dry shampoo is a must-have but again a little glossy box special um i've been saving this for holiday this is the maria neela um invisidry shampoo this is a really really good brand the quality of the products that you get in the glossy boxes are really good quality um but this is just like a perfect kind of travel size um one which is more than enough for me going on holiday for a week and then the other thing I tend to do this anyway, um, when I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair, I'll put heat defense, heat protection in it, but I also put oil just in the ends as well to keep it nice and nourished. Um, and Hask coconut oil is a very, very good one. And this is another little travel size one that I got in my glossy box. So it's just called the Nourishing Shine Hair Oil. Again, any like little travel size things like this, I absolutely love because they're just so convenient, but Every time I wash my hair, I'll just put a little bit of that in the ends and that will help kind of put some life back into it after kind of damaging it in the sun. Makeup products. I've got a couple of makeup products for you guys. Lip balm. Firstly, this is the Palmer's um, coconut oil like lip balm. I've said this so many times. I'm obsessed with coconut. The taste, smell, just everything. I love coconut and this is obviously a coconut oil one so it smells really holiday and like oh, it just smells so nice it's also really really nice and nourishing and most of all it has spf 15 in it so a lot of people think oh you need to protect your skin from the sun but you forget your lips especially if you're someone who sunbathes a lot you need that oh sun come on now it literally just can't make up its mind um but yeah don't forget to put some SPF on your lips as well because your lips do burn. And then, like, it's a given that you should be putting, like, some protection on your face anyway. Um, but I picked this up the other day and I'm absolutely loving it. So this is from The Body Shop. I love Body Shop products because they're really affordable, they're really good quality, and they're also, like, 
cruelty free a lot of them are vegan stuff like that but this is the fresh nude tinted beauty balm so this is a bb cream cc cream i can't remember the difference anyway so when you're like out and about during the day i kind of feel like you don't need a full face of makeup you don't want to have a full face of makeup this is perfect because it's just a very very light um product it kind of like sinks into your skin it doesn't feel like you've got loads of makeup sat on your skin whoa that just got dark um yeah it doesn't feel like you've got loads of products sat on your skin it's a nice kind of light gives you a nice glow but this also has spf 30 in it so it will also be protecting your skin as well and it says that it has hydrating aloe vera in it so yeah the fresh new tinted beauty balm i got medium fair which is number two i actually think i could have gotten a shade darker but oh well i think this was like eight pounds so it wasn't like a lot and it feels like a really nice kind of premium product next up i absolutely love this product how beautiful is that so this is a glow mist by candy cosmetics this is another glossy box special and if you don't know what a glow mist is I mean it's pretty self-explanatory you kind of spray it on and like mist yourself with it and it gives you this really really nice dewy glowy kind of look um places I kind of spray it on is like across my collarbones I could obviously do a mist on my face as well like shoulders are really good down the front of your legs so in the evenings if you want that kind of really nice dewy sun-kissed look then this is a must-have I absolutely love it right so mascara and eyeliner I actually only got these the other day because the ones that I were using which were actually expensive brands um were just like transferring on my face um and like I was just getting like mascara all up on my eyelids like they were just smudging really really bad not a good look and I feel like when you're on holiday it's a must have to have waterproof waterproof makeup um so these are actually from collection which is a budget brand let's face it i think these are about three pounds each super cheap but they're also cruelty free as well so i just went with the waterproof fast stroke eyeliner honestly like this was cheap but the results that i've gotten with it are so much better than the brand i was using previously and the mascara as well also really really good waterproof mascara so obviously if you do want to put on a little bit of makeup and hit the pool you don't have to worry about you know smudging your makeup everywhere okay let's talk about tanning i feel like it's a given that people should bring sun cream i'm not gonna talk to you about sun cream because come on now protect your skin it is so important I used to do a lot of sunbathing, but for me to actually get a tan, I have to like solidly just sunbathe the whole holiday, which isn't really how I want to spend my holiday. So I kind of given up on, on tanning and it's bad for your skin anyway, meh. So I buy my tan in a bottle. This is what I do when I'm in the UK and I also take it on holiday with me and top up. So these are from Soleil. So, these are actually on offer in Superdrug. I think they're on offer for two for eight pounds on selected Soleil tanning products. So very affordable because a lot of tanning products, you wouldn't even get one bottle for eight pounds. So definitely worth going and checking them out. So I got the mousse in ultra dark. It gives me like a really nice deep tan. And for me, it's the perfect kind of tone of tan as well. And when you put it on, it's not green. It's not... It doesn't give you a weird tinge it gives you a, even with, as soon as you put it on it gives you a really nice kind of goldeny glow so really recommend that it lasts really well as well and then i also got this which is the tanning water so this is the dark tanning water um i feel like it's not as intense as the mousse but really good for a top up and this doesn't sit on your skin it doesn't feel like you're wearing tanning stuff so if you do want to put tanning stuff on in the morning and then obviously put on clothes and get on with your day this is a really really good option they're both also vegan and cruelty free as well one thing to invest in with your tanning is a decent mitt i picked up this one the other day the one that i normally get is actually the luxury tanning mitt from amazon 
So I'll link that one, um, but I actually just got this one because it was on offer in Tesco, but it's not as thick and nice as the one that I normally get. But I think it's really important not to get the spongy ones because the spongy ones just soak up all of the product. Um, and what a waste of product for it to just sit in your glove. Um, but these ones are really, really nice kind of, they feel like a blanket. I don't know how you would explain it, but I just find that you're less likely to get streaks using one of these. Um, and also it doesn't just suck up all of the product before you even put it on. So definitely worth getting a decent mitt. Next up, bit of a different one, and it's actually the Netflix app. So, um, we already have a Netflix account. Um, if you don't have a Netflix account, definitely get one. It, they are so, so worth the money. I find that out of all of the kind of like movie apps I have, Netflix is the one because they have a really good kind of variety of movies anyway, but they also have amazing original series, which are always, they're good. So definitely worth it anyway. I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably have Netflix. But the app allows you to download certain movies and programs and save them on your phone and watch them offline. Obviously, we're going to Greece. That is a short haul flight. On short haul flights, you don't, we're going with Ryanair. Like, they're not going to have any TVs. And four hours is kind of a long time to sit there and do nothing. I personally find it really, really difficult to read in public because I feel like I can't hold my attention when there's other stuff around me. So what I do is I just download some movies and I just watch them on the flight. Okay, so packing essentials. Right, I'm gonna be filming a packing video for you guys anyway, um, but one thing that I have purchased this year that I'm really excited about, which is really sad, is packing cubes. Me and Steve are actually sharing a big suitcase. Obviously it's Ryanair, you have to pay for a suitcase. Steve literally packs like, a couple of t-shirts and a couple of shorts like so there's no point in him having a suitcase to himself so we're going to share a big suitcase i love kind of like separating out all my stuff anyway and i like it being organized i like the feeling of when i open my suitcase i know where everything's going to be it's all going to be nice and neat folded do you know what i mean so i invested in some packing tubes got these bad boys from amazon i think there was a set of nine i can't remember i'll link them down below but anyway, you get a variety of different kind of zip up bags um, in different sizes. And you can obviously like, I mean, let's face it, Steve can have this little one and he can pack all of his stuff in there. That'll probably be enough for him. And then I can have one for like my dresses, one for my underwear, one for my shoes, all of that. You also have one of these little um, toiletry bags as well that you can kind of open and then like just hang it in the bathroom when you get there. So yeah, really nice. Just got like the black one. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be a game changer for me. And it's sad that I'm so excited about it, but I just like things to be organized. And then last but not least, going back to sun protection, I feel like I'm acting like you guys' mums and telling you to protect your skin but you should. And hats is one thing that's really good to like protect your face and can also be a cute accessory. I showed this one to you guys before. This is the one I got on Amazon um, and it's actually a guy's hat. Yeah, I think it looks quite cute. So it'll go with those stuff. So you can either wear it as obviously like a beach hat um, and it protects your face just a little bit more or it just looks good for like out and about during the day is another way just to kind of protect your skin. And also like if you are kind of like sunbathing, I always find like just putting a hat over your face and just keeps your head cool. Right, so there are only two more things that I feel like are a must have because of the current situation. First one, 100% a must have is a face mask. So obviously you are gonna have to wear a face mask in the airport, on the plane, um, when you get there. And quite a lot of countries have similar restrictions to us where you have to wear them in shops and things like that as well. So really important to invest in a decent face mask. One of those papery ones, um, they're not very comfortable and like I found they were making my skin quite bad. So I invested in some nice um, fabric ones which are far more comfortable and it makes it easier to wear it kind of 
for long amounts of time um, because obviously when you're in the airport and on the plane that is a long amount of time to have to wear a face mask for so it's definitely worth investing in one that's going to be comfortable um, I'll link down below a couple of different ones that I have um, that are all like machine washable and the other thing is hand sanitizer firstly because although a lot of places have hand sanitizer now because of the current situation you should really be prepared and bring your own so i always carry around just like a little mini hand sanitizer with me but i'm also going to get some um kind of like what are they called disinfectant wipes to just take in my hand luggage as well um and kind of wipe down the tray table on the plane things like that that is everything from me today i hope that's been a little bit interesting for you guys just a little bit of an insight into things that i'm kind of preparing and packing um but yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later